Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. As you see, we're out here at the creek. We got the crawfish traps. So I think you know what we're about to be doing. We're about to be trapping some crawfish. It's that time of year now. Crawfish are out. Um, they'll be up in these creeks. So I got the best bait to use for crawfish, which is bacon, like something really greasy. So which I got some bacon. And we're gonna try to go and catch some crawfish I'm gonna trap down this creek line. This creek goes all the way up around and loops back up. So I'm gonna trap on this creek. I know the first trap we're putting in is right here. So let's get to it. We got the juice right here, guys. We got some bacon. We got our trap. While we're sitting here on this fine evening, we're gonna go here and put some bacon in this bad boy. So usually when you're crawfish trapping, you don't need very much bait to catch crawfish. That's what I seem to figure out, so. I'm gonna go put about three slivers of crawfish in that bad boy. Right there, that's all it takes right there, guys. Catch us a bunch of crawfish, three little deals of bacon, we'll get her done. Alrighty, so right here is the area where I'll be putting the truck out. And usually this is where I catch most of my crawfish at. And you can see the water is kind of dingy. Um, I am definitely going to get ticks in this water or in this grass right here. But it'll be alright. Where do I want to put this? I don't know if I want to put it further down that way. Or just put it right here. I think I'm just going to put it right here. So I'm going to try to get this set up pretty good. Where it sits flush on the bottom so the crawfish can go in pretty easily I don't want it close enough though for a raccoon to get it which I have had that happen before all right there we go it's flush up on the bottom yep it's on the bottom so now we're gonna tie this rope off and hope we don't get a rain which it might rain, it might not. You never know. So. Alright. There we go, guys. Y'all can see that down there. The trap is right there. Sitting flush on the bottom. Hopefully, we can get a crawfish in this trap. So, usually, when I have my... I always catch them right here. This is like the area where I catch them at all the time. The most here I caught was like 10. So let's hope, now that they got the bacon and stuff, that we can catch a lot. But this creek just runs in. There's a big big bowl of water, and then it runs down into this, this creek right here. But like I said, it wraps around all up through there. So we're going to head over there. Trap number one is in the water. We're going to wait, and we're going to come back out here tomorrow night and see if we don't get anything in the trap. I'm pretty sure we could. I hope we could, and I think I know we are. So hopefully we can get a lot. I'm not asking for much. I just hope we get like one or two. So for the video, for it to go on. And um, all right, let's go on. Let's head to spot number two.
Alrighty. So same thing here. We got Zulf Creek. And this has more crawfish than I never known of. Oh, put some bacon in here. This was last year though that I caught a lot of crawfish out of here. Um mainly with my hands. I never caught them in a trap, so we're gonna throw this trap down right there. And hopes that a Mr. Coon Daddy don't come and take it. Because that's the last thing I want to happen. Because Coon's like running up across this bank. Across banks and creeks and stuff. So I don't want that to happen. And there we go, guys. We got trap number two in the water. Alright, so we got both the traps in the water now. And I'm really hoping that we can get at least one crawfish. I bet we can get at least one. That wouldn't be that hard, wouldn't it? Um, if anything, we might need to go on the plan B and figure out something else how to catch some crawfish. But, hey, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, and let's get on going.